I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Hi, I'm Luke Ryan for JoeBlow.com and welcome to Top 5 Movie Mistakes. Whether it's E.T. or whether it's Mac and me, in every movie, somewhere along the way, someone has screwed up. E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Is there really a more beloved and respected family movie out there that can compete with the impact the Steven Spielberg classic has had? Arguably not. In many ways, this film is untouchable. Hell, when Spielberg went back to do his own George Lucas special edition in 2002, with a CGI E.T. incorporated into the movie, fans didn't like it. And so, he discontinued that version, vowing to only present the original, untouched 1982 classic from then on. More on that later. Emotionally, E.T. doesn't put a single foot wrong, and I still get overwhelmed at the film's conclusion when John Williams' incredible score reaches its crescendo. But, when it comes to surface level, good old fashioned movie mistakes and goofs, what does E.T. have to offer? Let's take a look. Number 5. In the brilliant scene where Elliot lures E.T. into his room with Reese's Pieces, you can actually spot the outline of the person who is using E.T. puppet hands behind the railing. It's very faint and hard to make out, but when the puppeteer moves, you can make out their very human outline. When Elliot goes into his room to get more candy, you can also see the shadow of a crew member stand up and walk away. And there's plenty of instances in the movie of crew members being visible in the frame, either through shadows or in reflections. Number 4. When Elliot takes E.T. to go out trick-or-treating, there's a fairly noticeable mistake. See if you can spot it. Did you catch it? When E.T. turns around, you can quite clearly see the very human legs of the person underneath the sheet playing him. E.T.'s legs are very thick and stumpy, but to get this shot of him turning around, they obviously needed a person under the sheet to get that movement, but you can see their legs under there all the same. Number 3. In the opening scene of the film, we see glimpses of E.T. as he wanders away from his ship up in the woods. But a group of men arrive, and E.T. panics, running away back to the safety of his ship. In this sequence, for a brief moment, you can actually see the cart that is carrying E.T. through the foliage to give the impression that he's running on screen. As I mentioned before, Spielberg did do a special edition version of E.T., and this mistake was digitally removed for the 2002 version, and also for the original 1982 version on the DVD. E.T. is shown to be hopping instead, to cover this mistake. In all future releases of E.T. though, whether it's on Blu-ray or streaming services such as Netflix, the mistake remains faithfully intact. Number 2. In the original version of the film, meaning yes, no walkie-talkie bullshit, we see the kids take flight on their bikes, marking the beginning of one of the film's numerous iconic sequences. It's quite literally a wonderful flight of fancy, but if you take a closer look, yeah, the handlebars of some of the bikes just aren't there. <laughs> they vanished. It's not just in this one shot either, it's a steady mistake throughout the entire sequence that's obviously down to the limitations of the technology at the time. In the 2002 version, this mistake was not just touched up, but in some shots completely changed entirely. I don't know about you, but I prefer the film to be presented in as original a presentation as possible, so I'm glad that Spielberg decided to leave the 1982 version literally untouched for future generations to enjoy, mistakes and all. Which brings us to... Number 1. Speaking of iconic moments in E.T., the final scene is an emotional showstopper. Let's take a look at E.T. and Elliot's farewell, and try not to grab the tissues while we're at it. Right 
So, did you see the mistake? Probably not, right? It's hard to really give a damn about a continuity error like this when you're getting swept up in all of the emotion, and that's the way it should be. But again, Spielberg did correct this temporarily in the 2002 cut. The mistake is when E.T. raises up his right hand to Elliot's face. When we cut to the reverse angle of E.T., he is now holding up his left hand. In the 2002 version, the hand is digitally recreated to be the correct left hand, but also, E.T. himself is completely digital too. That's a change I really don't like. But once again, respect to Spielberg for understanding what the fans want and accepting the fact that movie mistakes like this really don't mean a damn. It's fun to spot them, and you often wonder how the hell they happened in some cases, and hey, here I am making a series about them, but they're always part of the charm of the imperfect creation of movies. Emotionally, this film connects so damn well with people that the mistakes should be left in, warts and all. To me, E.T. is a masterpiece, and these minor goofs don't make a blind bit of difference because the rest is magic.